discussion will be on the coral reefs. This segment is 32 and you are watching my uh, series of talks on planet Earth. Most of the coral reefs we can see today were formed after the glacial period when melting ice caused the sea level to rise and flood the continental shelves. This means that most modern coral reefs are less than 10,000 years old. As communities established themselves on the shelves, the reefs grew upwards, pacing rising sea levels. Reefs that rose too slowly could become drowned reefs. They are covered so much water that there was insufficient light. Coral reefs are found in the deep sea away from the continental shelves around oceanic islands and as atolls. The vast majority of these islands are volcanic in origin. The few exceptions have tectonic origins where plate movements have lifted the deep ocean floor on the surface. Where the bottom is rising, fringing reefs can grow around the coast, but coral raised above sea level dies and becomes white limestone. If the land subsides slowly, the fringing reefs keep pace by growing upwards on a base of older dead coral forming a barrier reef, enclosing a lagoon between the reef and the land. A barrier reef can encircle an island and once the island sinks below sea level, a roughly circular atoll of growing coral continues to keep up with the sea level forming a central lagoon. Barrier reefs and atolls do not usually form complete circles but are broken in places by storms like sea level rise. A rapidly subsiding bottom can overwhelm coral growth, killing the coral polyps and the reef due to what is called coral drowning. Corals that rely on zooxanthellae can drown when the water becomes too deep for their symbionts to adequately photosynthesize due to decreased light exposure. I have got a video animation on coral formation. Right now I'm going to play the video. Coral reefs are formed around the upper edge of an extinct volcano that has risen from the sea floor. Algae and coral settle on its coast and build up high coral reefs. 